522 hours since we started this adventure. We're continuing our path to the King on Rats on the Europe server. The system remains the same. Taking one work, one step at a time, but doing the step with consistency, even when it gets hard. Favorite kill this week is against a greedy carving sword. He tries to bait me into dismounting on top of him by switching to mana region on his skull. I use the environment to be on the safe side against carving with Mistwalker jacket. I recommend either laser or grudge on W. If you have root, you stand no chance on similar IP. Use your res potion in defensives very early so that you don't take too much damage before you stack enough Qs for your damage over time. In the end, I have to overcharge to be able to fight, but his build is three times more expensive, so it's worth it. First blood this week, we have a paper build that givers with Matro. Against paper builds, I would go laser so that you can combine it with your Curtis Scowl for insane damage. The only thing you have to keep in mind is to fight only against similar IP, not higher, and you have to keep your resistance potions in case he purges your cleric too early. The moment you see he's low enough, go for final E and try to run with boots without directly attacking him if he has his mage drop on. He might be able to kill you before your E pops. As I saw you enjoyed my past video, I also started streaming on my free days and I got accepted in the AOCP program. Here is a 7 days premium code for you, tell me if you get a code in the comments below. Also if you have any questions regarding a game, feel free to ask, I'll respond to everyone. I need and soul, but I don't care. I know it will sell. Our next group of victims we hunt in the abbey. First part of the fight is pretty easy as he's using group content build. Most likely he was specking it up. The only problem we have is when the carving comes after we finish the dagger off. Lucky enough I have enough time to switch and also get my cooldowns. 
before he can engage me. In this case, we use Garage even though he has Purge. He survives the first C, but I get my boots back and manage to finish the fight. Daggers are a good matchup in general if you have Cultist Cowl, even when you're overgeared. Next fight we lose, mostly because I didn't OC. If I OC too early, he might have disengaged, but I waited too long and I missed my last W, which costed me my life. Another example of Dead Givers build, this time with similar IP. When they have Mercenary Jacket, you mostly need to time your cleric with his, and the fight is most likely won if he attacks you while on cultist. If you see he's all in with cultist, use also your resistance bot. Sometimes RNG is on our side, while following a cursed brother on a wisp we see someone else shadowing us. I go and check him out and I was thinking he wants to bait me, so I dismounted on melee range which would give me advantage even if it was just a bait. He was away from his keyboard for a few seconds and we get him for free without any interferences. The Arcane Spider is the second most dangerous place after the Turbulent Mist while in the mists. We catch a dual source while doing it, even though my internet wasn't working properly we still managed to get him. I recommend root W and EV spot if the spider is tier 7 and above and laser for tier 6. Carving swords love fighting curse staffs, especially when they have Purge and Mistwalker jacket. Very important, laser on W and depending on how skilled he is, you must bait his Purge to be able to use your boots for the finisher. If you don't, most likely you are going to die with him and someone else will get both your builds.
you got so far into the video, it means you like my content and you're interested in learning more about what had Kerstaff and Albion in general. This is why I also want to talk a little about channel memberships, which I managed to activate last week. We have four levels and of course some perks with them. The first one is made specifically to help grow the channel in the future quality wise and also to be able to make more content. Starting with level 2 you'll have access to my private discord and for those that want one on one help I can also help you with premium coaching and VOD in that game analysis. After you finish this video, you can check them out. If you have any questions, please do ask. There aren't many builds that will fight one hand curse on fair IP. Another carving, this time with a different strategy. This one switches his W to counter my E. The only way you can win is by timing your defensives and keep enough damage or mobility to finish him off while he's in undead cape. Do not use your E after he is dismounted, you'll win the fight by damage over time from your Q. Time. I'll sell it. Haven't got many of these in the past months, but from time to time you'll get between two people fighting and cash them both. Hammer is very high mobility, so always go for poison if he's low enough and not very high AP. One combo and he's dead. Zero. Good. See guys, 400k, let's go. Okay. 
When you're doing camps, always pay attention to sounds. You will hear someone before you can see them. We managed to put the dead givers in combat. As he's already low enough and bleeding from mobs, we managed to finish home after his undead cave procs. For ganking, always use laser W if you're using this build. If you're using other builds, root W might also work, but solely depends on how much AP you have on that build. Oh, very good. When in the Abbey, if you're looking for PvP, it's always safe to use root W. Especially near their exits, it will give you enough time to finish someone with lower IP, or they will panic and put you in combat, giving you more time to kill them before they can exit. While on stream, the people got bored, so for a change of pace, I bought a sweating build with leather jackets to see how it would go with 50% spec in the tree. We haven't got many fights, but we managed to catch some gatherers. Here you can see an example of how fast someone dies if he doesn't pay attention on his screen. I don't have much time to play, so they have plenty of time to sell. When you're using high tier and new builds, you're more prone to making mistakes. We engage a shadow color build in a big camp with root W while surrounded fully by mobs. This costs us our life, especially because we didn't use our pot and choose the wrong one. Very good choice would be a res or giga, especially because he was using grudge. 
if we had Res or Giga, most likely would have finished him with the second E combo. At the moment of recording this video, these are the specs I managed to get so far. By applying what I know, what I learned from others, and by practicing, step by step I'll become the best for at least one aspect of this game. If you want more tips on how to win more, check out the video that I left on the right. And remember, always and forever, better support wins.